Regenerative Sustainability Creation. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 199. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Gee Siebel and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 199, January 15th, 2017 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on social media and manage your updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred all of the written content for the play lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan purpose to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of play is now 100% completely written on our website. Behind the scenes, we completed 100% of the written part of the sharing lesson plan. We also completed the first 25% of the mind map for the cognition lesson plan, bringing it to 25% complete, which you see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team finished updating the anchor links and formatting the food bars page, bringing the page to approximately 10% complete. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. The core team, working with Ashwini Ramesh, civil engineer and project manager, put another combined total of 15 hours into the crowdfunding campaign we are developing. This week's focus was behind-the-scenes review and continued writing and editing of the sustainable site selection, planning and preparation Google Doc that also contains the site clearing, preparation, and maintenance details. You can see some of this work here. The core team also further evolved last week's main render from Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, for the shipping container village. We then updated all associated web pages and the seven villages online book with a new version. In addition to this, the core team continued working on the renders for the communal eco shower structures that are part of the Earthbag Village Pod 1. This week we updated the central sink area with additional under sink storage units and we updated the shape and texture of the mirrors over the sinks. Adrian Gould Choquette, mechanical engineer, also finished her fourth week helping create the standardized AutoCAD layers and line weights template. This week's focus was further applying it to the Shipping Container Village Pod 5 and adding what is needed to gather input from other disciplines. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here's update 51 of his work that continues focusing on lighting, texture, and other aesthetic details inside the homes. The progression you are seeing here is a series of 70 renders showing this development and finishing with his final three newest ones. 
adding details to Dean's previous work, Guy Grossfeld added people and nature elements to create this new final render of the front external view looking east for the Cobb Village. Jiming Chen, designer with his master's in architecture and BA in engineering, also continued helping develop the Treehouse Village. What you see here is his 10th week of his work focusing on test rendering a variety of different perspectives within the village. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 27th week helping with the compressed earth block village pod 4 design details. This week's focus was continued lighting details and further development of the external village specifics. Zachary Moline, graphic designer, also continued developing the treehouse village book. What you see here is week 20 of this work that produced these two custom made 3D sections for page 56. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team made final edits to this render for the duplicable city center outside portion of the natural pool. And we continued developing the lighting and textures for the render perspective for the natural pool area inside the duplicate city center social dome. And Dipti Dondurker, electrical engineer, continued with her 25th week of work on the lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was finishing adding and updating the type of bulb details, watts per zone, and minimum lumens and light details to the zone spreadsheet as seen here. Jin Chi Feng, environmental consultant, also continued her research helping us create an in-depth laundry and dryer machine sustainability analysis. What you see here is her 17th week of behind-the-scenes work on this area of the project. This week's focus was continued development of the data for the tutorial and adding details to the open source tool to help people understand how we came to our conclusions for comparing water and energy savings with different washers and dryers. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, further developed this before and after of the city center root cellar. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, and Shuna Nee, masters of mechanical engineering and civil engineering PhD, also continued their work on the city center brace details. What you see here are the design specifics and completed calculation and measurement details necessary for us to now model this in 3D. Rami Vudi, electrical engineer, and Shubham Agrawal, electrical engineer, continued their work on the energy infrastructure for the city center. This week's work focused on an initial lifestyle schedule and evaluating different solar scenarios and the associated effects on battery and solar panel array sizing. Mike Hogan, automation systems developer and business systems consultant, and Lucas Tsui Da Silva, fourth year computer engineering student, also began a new round of development of the control and automation systems layout. Here are pictures from the weekly development call where we focused on the root cellar, boiler room, and first floor details. Jin Yu, structural engineering designer, also joined the team and completed her first week working on the concrete foundation design and tutorial details for the Duplical City Center. You can see a collage of some of this work here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team created a detailed list of next steps for developing the highest good network, as seen here. And working with Ashwin Patil, web developer, and Jennifer Zhao, web designer, we completed another round of edits and launched the search engine for the highest good education component. We also continued development of the code needed for the highest good housing search engines for each village. One community thinks the time has come for regenerative sustainability creation. We believe that through open source and free shared tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions covering all aspects of sustainability, we have the ability to not only create a sustainable world, but a world built on regenerative community building, regenerative sustainability creation that is founded on the concept of human beings, of people being stewards, stewarding the earth.
Not because we believe that everybody has to do this, but we believe that if we make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate the complete one community model as attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own and it is founded specifically on stewardship. It's founded specifically on the idea that through sustainable infrastructure and an evolution of sustainability that combines physical sustainability, which is food, energy, and housing, with emotional sustainability, which is high-skilled education, high-skilled economics, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship, which is the regenerative sustainability creation foundation. Through combining these things, we can create a way of living that most people consider to be better than the way they're living now, and that will be would be will be better than living without any one of those things. The idea being that each of those components supports the other components, and when put together, it creates a truly regenerative model. And what do I mean by that? I mean a model of sustainability that through stewardship means that we, humanity, instead of of just taking advantage of the earth has the ability to actually steward the earth and create a planet that is better for everyone and everything living here. This regenerative sustainability creation could be taken to all aspects of the world through using concepts like permaculture and organic farming and regenerative farming and house and sustainable housing and renewable energy all these concepts addressing the challenges of this generation and generations to come by creating a sustainable world built on a sustainable civilization that has decided to take ownership, like responsibility ownership, of our planet and make it the best place to live for everyone and everything that is possible. And if you look at the areas of our planet where people have just started to do this, what we are capable of is amazing. It's mind-blowing. When people get together with the consciousness for the highest good of all, and this is what our organization is doing, is we are bringing together people with the consciousness for the, high, with, for the highest good of all, people that believe that we can create a sustainable world and regenerate our earth, restore our oceans, restore our mountains, restore our entire ecosystem. We're bringing together people that believe that that's possible and that we're the ones that are doing it, and we're creating that. If you look at the people that are doing this in just small areas around the world, our ideas to open source and free share those ideas and so many more to create sustainable, self-sufficient, and self-replicating teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs that will teach others how to do this as well. Spreading the idea, spreading the idea of regenerable, <laughs> regenerative sustainability creation across the planet, working together to create a global network so that we can start this on a global scale, taking the best of the best and giving them an even louder voice, but teaching regular people with average means how to do this for their own benefit and the benefit of all of humanity and the planet. But because it's built on infrastructure designed with a consciousness for the highest good of all, the idea is that if even if people decide that they're not doing it for regenerative reasons or sustainability reasons or any reason other than just for their own personal reasons, that's still a step in the right direction. Because through the model that we've designed and developed, it doesn't take everybody. It actually takes a very small percentage of people working together, creating the open source tools, tutorials, resources, blueprints, do-it-yourself instructions, everything that we're doing that can be implemented as the complete teacher demonstration model and hub or as individual components. It only takes a very small percentage of us creating that to completely transform an industry and to positively and permanently impact the lives of everybody on this planet. And that is what one community is all about. And this is what we're doing. So if it sounds interesting to you, if it sounds fun to you, if it sounds exciting to you, if you'd like to get involved, join our team. There's lots of different ways to participate. Of course, the easiest one is just to share our information on social media. We are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn and Tumblr and Reddit and Pinterest and all these other social media networks to make it as easy as possible to share. The biggest way to help is through helping us with funding and getting the property off the market. We're still seeking large scale funding to do that. Our primary focus right now is on open source creation. Everything that's necessary for us to be shovel ready, but if we could get the property off the market, if we could find that large fund, large scale funder or group that could help us to get the property off the market, that would be the next largest step that one community could take. In the meantime, we're continuing to work on the foundations of regenerative sustainability creation, which are 
all the infrastructure pieces, that combination of physical sustainability and emotional sustainability that's necessary so that when we finally purchase the property, so we're ready to start building. But getting the property off the market in advance would help a lot, allow us to answer a lot of questions that we're not able to answer without soil reports and site survey and things like that, that doesn't make sense to do until we can get that property off the market. So if you or somebody you know has the availability, has the ability or the resources to help in that regards, we'd love to speak with you. Otherwise, anybody can participate in what it is that we're doing. Get involved in whatever way works best for you. We've got lots of different ways to do that. Our project is a non-governmental organization, a non-profit organization, and a 100% volunteer organization. I'm not paid for what I'm doing and neither is anybody else on our staff. We're all volunteering our time. So if you'd like to volunteer with us, if you'd like to be a part of making history, if you like what we're doing, if it sounds interesting, join us, get involved. The other thing we like to do is say thank you for the little donations. Thank you for the emails. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for liking this YouTube video. Thank you for liking our posts on social media. All that stuff really helps. You know, it is a collaborative effort. Just watching to the end is helpful because now you know a little bit more about our project and hopefully share it with other people and help them to become knowledgeable as well. We have the ability as a species to create the world that we want. Arguably, we're already creating the world that we want, either through our activity, our action, or our inactivity and inaction. So if you'd like to be proactive in the process, here's your opportunity. Get involved in what it is that we're doing. We'd love your help. Uh, also, if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content that we're talking about and so much more, visit our website, check it out, share that information on social media if you want to help us get the word out, help us spread the word on what it is that we're doing. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list or you can subscribe to this YouTube channel or you can join us on social media and manage your updates that way. Regenerative sustainability creation. It's happening right now. You can be a part if you want to. You're already a part if you're watching this video, but you could be a greater part if you want to. So thanks for watching till the end. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.